This training video will cover MarketSite's Key Findings feature. With Key Findings, MarketSite users can easily highlight important research results from any dataset in one central location, providing free, secure access for colleagues and clients to view the results online. This is the Key Findings page, showing the table of contents on the left and the item currently selected on the right. Every MarketSite account includes an unlimited number of free user IDs for people who don't need full access to all the market site features, but would like to be able to view and export the most important results in market site. Setting up new users to take advantage of this free feature is simple and takes just a few minutes. And it can be done by the market site account administrator at your company using the administration tools available here. Now let's take a look at how to add cross tabs, charts, dashboards, data views, and related files to key findings and how to organize the key findings page. We'll take a look at a recent crosstab we've designed that we'd like to share in key findings. While viewing this crosstab, click share in the action bar and select add to key findings. To add multiple crosstabs at once, go to the crosstabs list page and select the crosstabs to be added to key findings. Then click on share from the action bar here. It works the same way for charts, dashboards, and data views. Related files can also be shared in key findings. As you may know, a related file is any file you upload to MarketSite to be shared online, such as a PDF, a PowerPoint file, a Word file, that may be a research report, a questionnaire, or a client presentation, for example. To share a related file in key findings, go to the datasets page and upload or find the related file, right click on it, and then choose Share. We'll complete the process of adding an item to key findings by sharing a chart. From the home page, we'll open a recent chart and then click Share from the action bar. Once we click Add to Key Findings, we see this window with several options. The name for this item as it will appear in Key Findings, the description, and the folder where this item will be stored. Let's create a new folder in Key Findings and put our chart there. We'll call the new folder Training Examples. We'll then select that folder and click OK. Now let's open the Key Findings page to see how it looks. On the left is a table of contents showing different folders and items that have been made available in Key Findings. We can see that our new folder is here and it contains the chart we just added. In your account, it may be fine for every user to see everything in Key Findings, but you may also want to restrict what people see. To control access to certain content by certain groups, you'll want to set up permissions on these top-level folders and also set up groups of users to which you'll assign these permissions. The result will be that different work groups or different client groups will be able to access the single page and only see the items that they have permissions to see. The main window shows the item that is currently selected in the table of contents. In this case, the chart we just added. Any interactive controls in the original chart will also be available in key findings. These controls give Key Findings users the ability to interact with this chart without making any permanent changes to it. Let's take a look at the different menu items available from the action bar above. Clicking on Edit, you'll see the same window we used to create the key finding. Here you can revise the name, the description, and the folder it's in. The Delete item will delete the key finding, but does not affect the actual item in Market Site. The export item will enable you to export this item to Excel, PDF, PowerPoint, or an image file. The choices on this menu will be based on the item selected. The share item will allow you to create an external link to this key finding. Simply copy this URL and paste it into an email or another website or any electronic document. And whoever clicks on it will go directly to this key finding, provided they successfully log into market site along the way. This is to keep your data secure. The view source item will launch a new tab and take you directly to the original item in market site. This is useful if you wish to make any changes to the original item. An important thing to remember is that the key finding is in fact a link to the original item, 
which means that any changes made to the original item, including deleting that item, will be reflected in key findings. Finally, if we select a related file in the table of contents, the menu changes slightly and we see an open item. Clicking open will enable a user to open or save the related file, in this case, a PowerPoint presentation. Each of these items is also available on the right-click menu. The final menu item in Key Findings is Redirect, which is used when a dataset has been updated and you'd like to redirect the key findings from the old dataset to the new dataset. Click Redirect and simply choose the old and new datasets, and MarketSite will redirect all the key findings to the new dataset. Any inconsistencies between the two datasets will be highlighted. It's important to point out that the Edit, Delete, View Source, and Redirect items on the action bar will only be visible to full access users. In other words, the people that will be able to edit market site items and add them to this page. A user whose ID is limited to the key findings page will only see the export, share, and open items, as those users cannot make any changes to this page or the items available on this page. That concludes this video on key findings.